This video gives a brief overview of USD and is intended for computer graphics developers and pipeline engineers who are interested in learning what USD is and how it could be used as a base for a CG pipeline. So to set context, let me start by saying that large-scale computer graphics projects such as computer animated films or visual effects sequences always carries the challenge of how do you effectively manage and manipulate large amounts of complex data? USD, which stands for Universal Scene Description, was created and made open source by Pixar and is designed to handle this problem. Besides aiding in large-scale data management, it also makes a CG pipeline agnostic of any software that may be deployed to work within a pipeline. This is USD's version of Hello World. In it, we create a stage context, and in that context, we create two prims, or objects, and then we call save. Those objects get saved out as a USDA or USDB file, ASCII or binary. USD comes with a tool called USD View. It allows the quick loading and viewing of a USD file. This means we can take a look at our Hello World scene. This is an OpenGL Hydra render, so the viewer is designed to be extremely fast. The scenes load quickly and then can be played back in real time. This allows a scene to be visually validated prior to running a full render. USD View also has a built-in Python interpreter. This allows the manipulation of the loaded stage context. Here I give a simple example of what the interaction is like in the interpreter. Here, I get the sphere object, then I can get sphere property names. I can see it has a radius, so to set the radius, one might look for a set adder method on the sphere object. But what's done instead is that you first get the radius attribute, and then you set the radius on the radius attribute object itself. USD also has the notion of variance. This is a USD file that contains our sphere, but we're also defining a shader variant set called shading variant. And here contains three simple variations of the sphere, blue, green, and red. And if you load that scene into USD, here's our sphere, and then you have the opportunity to change it from red to green or blue. A high-level description of how Pixar uses USD in their pipeline is you can see they have their major DCC applications. I should have included Houdini here for the effects department, but you can see USD is used to exchange data between these different applications as shots progress through their pipeline. To drill down a little deeper into what this USD file structure would look like in a pipeline, and this is what it would look like in a feature animation pipeline, though it can be constructed around any schema one chooses. So here's a file reference hierarchy for things that need to be in every shot, like say the camera, the camera can be stored in a global USD file. And then there's sequence level layers, and within the sequence there's interdepartmental layers. And as you progress down this hierarchy, the last USD file is the one that wins. So it's not destructive, and they call each progression of the USD file and the changes that get piled one on top of the other as opinions. And they call it an opinion because someone further down the stream may clobber your idea of what they think things should be. And then, so you have this giant tree structure, but at the end, you can collapse it all into one final scene representation. It can be simmered down to a single USD file. You may have unique types of data to be represented in your pipeline. To customize USD, there's a Python and C++ interface that allows you to define your own prims, or classes. It gives you a system to compile them and then bring them into your context. This means USD is extensible and will accommodate different types of unique data structures. There are Python bindings to the C++ API, though all the USD documentation is in C++. Since the USD Python interface are bindings to C++, the Python interaction is less Pythonic than you would want if you're a Python developer, 
but I'm sure this is something one would get used to pretty quick. It's important to know that USD is a big piece of machinery to roll in and has many dependencies in that installing and building USD is not trivial. If you want to learn more about USD, there's a website you can go to to read about it, or if you'd rather s just sit back and watch some videos, I suggest going to Vimeo as they're the best source of USD videos. There's one in particular about real-time graphics in Pixar film production that's a Seagraph presentation that's particularly good. Then there's other workflow and pipeline videos that show little bite-sized practical snippets of ways that USD is implemented inside of a pipeline. Okay, that's the end of the video. I hope it was informative for you and thanks for watching.